The New York Police Department is implementing the country's largest body camera program. More than 20,000 officers will wear the cameras once the rollout is complete by 2019. Recordings like this show how the body cameras are used. Up to half of the country's roughly 18,000 law enforcement agencies are adopting them. Jeff Pagase is at a police station in Washington with how the technology is changing the dynamics between law enforcement and citizens. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. We're in Washington Metro PD's first district station, and there are about 100 body cameras along this wall, and every day the officers take them out of the charging dock, put them on their chests, and hit the streets. Body-worn cameras offer an unfiltered look at interactions between police and the community. So all NYPD members on patrol will be wearing body-worn cameras. On Tuesday, the largest police department in the country the gun. joined thousands of others whose cameras are already rolling. 5,000 will be deployed by July of 2018. You have people out there in our community that are asking for transparency. Peter Newsham is the interim police chief of Washington's Metropolitan Police Department. How much of a role do these cameras play in that transparency? It's a huge role. And that's the thing I think folks have to keep in mind is that um, the community really wants this. Nearly 3,000 of Newsham's officers are outfitted with body cameras. Then they would hit the button twice. Recently, Commander Ralph Ennis showed us how they work. From the time I hit the button, it's, it's recording video and audio. So it's recording me right now? Yes, it's recording us, our conversation. Lindsay Miller Goodison is the deputy director of the Center for Applied Research and Management, a policing think tank. Goodison says the devices are only useful if officers are trained properly. It undermines the purpose of having the camera system if, if officers aren't turning them on. The Metropolitan PD adjusted its department's policy after an officer failed to turn on his body camera before the fatal shooting of Terrence Sterling last year. So what is the protocol? Almost every time that one of our officers has an interaction with somebody in the public, they're required to turn it on. When our officers get a call for service, the dispatcher will ask, actually ask them if they have turned their camera on, and then the officer has to respond that they have. That's your license and registration, please. In the Metro PD's first full month of deployment, it recorded 140,000 videos, or 34,000 hours of footage, that includes a spike for the presidential inauguration. Body cameras are now an industry. Vendors like Taser International, the manufacturer working with Metro PD, not only sell the pricey cameras, but video storage space along with it. The company booked $180 million of business in the first three quarters of 2016 alone. Data storage is one of those logistical things that has become a huge policy issue because it does cost a lot. There's questions about how do you make sure that it's not being altered, how do you make sure that it, the proper people are accessing it. We'll be issuing you the cameras. Police chiefs will tell you that implementing the cameras remains a work in progress. Law enforcement is trying to do the right thing for our department in particular, for them to embrace this body-worn camera program that we have says to me that my folks feel like they're doing the right thing almost all of the time and they want everybody to see it. To that end, Metro PD sometimes uploads body cam footage to a YouTube channel. The footage can be stored for about 90 days or longer if an officer is involved in a potentially criminal encounter. Nora. All right, Jeff, thank you so much.